Artbox is not just made for creatives. In fact, anybody can play this game because you're only utilizing four shapes. Are you guys ready to become the most innovative artist at the table? Well, if that's the case, break out hashtag Artbox. This is a game by Crowd Games, plays three to eight players, takes about an hour to play, and is for ages 12 and up, or if you got some innovative drawing capability in your younger ones. And in the game, it's pretty simple. It's kind of got a mix between the game Dixit and a game like Pictionary. Players are going to get cards, they're going to choose one of them, they're going to then draw them based on the shapes they roll, and there's going to be die in the game associated with the shapes that you roll, and then players are going to attempt to guess these shapes, uh, and which will hopefully become a picture, with the cards cards on the table that are all randomized. If players can guess the most correct, they'll get points. And also if yours gets picked the most with the correct one, you can get points as well. You'll play any number of rounds based on the number of players, but your objective is to get the most points by the end of the game. Can you do it? We'll find out. I'll show you down below what the game looks like, what it comes with. We'll come up and I'll discuss my review. And then if you want, pick up the game hashtag Artbox down below, link in the description. Let's take you to the bottom. So here we have the game hashtag Artbox. It's all set up for the end of a round for four players. But in general, this is how it looks to be set up, minus the drawings here and the words here. Every player is going to get a pencil and one of these foldable little hidden areas where you can basically draw without being impeded by your neighbors. And you're going to set out the point totals, or these little point tokens here, and this little uh, hourglass, which you'll use throughout the game. Make sure everybody has enough of these to play the game, depending on the number of rounds, based on the number of players, and set aside the cards as well as the dice and these examples for, for shapes in case people don't know what shapes look like. Have each player draw two of these cards and select one of them. They're going to have words on them like steering wheel or telescope. After each player has selected a card, discard the other one and then begin by having a player roll these dice. After they rolled their die, every player is going to draw a picture and the picture is going to be utilizing all of those shapes in one way or another to draw their cards. So for instance, if I don't know, if I had a, a volcano, maybe this is going to be an example of something I would draw. And then after that, everybody is going to be basically choosing one of these tokens here. And they're number based on number of players. Whoever finished drawing first will take number one, second, third, fourth, and so on and so forth. Then, after all of these have been selected, players are going to randomly shuffle these pictures up and place them either on the top of this board here or on the bottom. So in a five player game, you'd have another picture here and these would all go down. And then after that, players are going to place all of their randomly shuffled words down along with possibly more words. So in a four player game, you'll add three additional words to the mix there, which will kind of change it up a bit. And then players are going to begin guessing. They'll use the opposite side of this little paper sheet here and they're going to associate the picture of one with the number one and then they're going to write a word based on which word they think it associates with. After they do that for each of the images the first player to do so will grab this timer and flip it. When they flip it that's the time left for everybody else to guess. When this is ended then everybody is going to tally up points and there's two ways of tallying points. A the person who guessed the most correctly if there's a tie it'll go based on this order here and the person who was able to get their word guessed correctly the most and once again ties will be done by this order here after that players can score one for each of those two different criteria and then players will begin another round by removing these pieces of paper or utilizing the back of them discarding these and starting by drawing two more of these the game plays a number of rounds or based on the number of points for each player and whoever gets the most points by that point in time or the most number and maybe it'll be whoever gets to five points first wins the game will be the winner of hashtag art box pretty simple straightforward drawing game with a puzzly, puzzly uh, party aspect. Okay, let's come up and talk about it. Artbox is not just made for creatives. In fact, anybody can play this game because you're only utilizing four shapes. You have to utilize all four that you roll and everybody will use those same shapes for the image they're trying to make. You're trying to be creative, not in the way you're drawing, and yes, of course, in the way you're drawing, but also how you put those shapes together on paper. When you're using four of the same shapes to make a volcano or a unicorn or the planet Saturn, it's going to have to relay a message with those four specific shapes. You can make them smaller or larger, but what you can't do is 
make a square into a rectangle or a circle into an oval. You can't make the straight line into a swiggly line. It has to follow the basic premise of making a shape that resembles the actual shape that has been rolled. And there's a lot of creative ways people are going to be utilizing those. Now, what's funny too is sometimes you might end up having to use four lines. Using four lines to make a helicopter is going to be somewhat challenging, but maybe not as challenging as the planet Saturn. Or maybe so, if you make a square. And players are going to look at the drawings and kind of associate them. And they'll also kind of realize who's drawing what. But knowing who draws what doesn't mean you're going to know what they're trying to draw. And so associating players with the type of drawings they have, what their mindset is, will attach to this game as well. There's a ton of different words in the game. I think you got a big stack here. And they're going to have the the words are kind of both sides like code names, so it's easy to see them, which is very, very nice. As well as there's a, a huge amount of these guys here, this big drawing tablet here. Uh, would have probably been cooler in my opinion, but probably more expensive, expensive is if they actually had those dry erase markers with a board. But this works actually pretty well. And if they're going to go this route, I'd prefer they have give me a big chunk of them. And then they do. This is going to play at least seven or eight games with five players or more. So that's a good amount. They also give you, of course, pencils and they've got the hashtag art box on them. These guys worked great exactly for what I was hoping they would in the game. Obviously, this game is going to be more challenging for those of you who are less creative, especially creative and thinking about how you want to put shapes onto a board. Regardless, though, we all had fun. I played this game with four and five players, and each game was very enjoyable. More players equals more different pieces of artwork and the ability to try and put them in order. Uh, it's a party game. It's pretty straightforward. The rules, I, I'm guessing just based off my video, you'll be able to play this game without having to read them. Not that you wouldn't want to because it'll tell you specifically how many things for what players and how many points are required. All the kind of little niche topics that are important, but regardless, not very necessary. As well as, of course, utilizing some bonus things they give you. Like they give you the cards that illustrate the type of shapes that you're making, which you wouldn't think is needed, but it is because when somebody draws a swiggly line, you're like, this is what a line is, this is how you draw the line, then it becomes rather important. The game plays roughly about an hour and it's a ton of fun. This game is cons constantly fun. You're wanting to play more and more rounds as you go into it. It's a game that I can easily see Pictionary fans enjoying. It's a game that Dixit fans are going to enjoy. Anybody who has a little creative bone in their body is gonna wanna play this game, especially with friends and family. This will work for kids and realistically, a grown adult and a six, seven, year old kid could probably get the same idea of a drawing for a helicopter or whatnot so you're not going to have a huge creative difference i mean my my cousin ashley is an excellent uh, drawer and that didn't necessarily mean artist i should say that i was going to guess hers each and every time in fact one of our friends brent who can't draw worth a diddly i was able to guess his more just based on how he arranged the shapes this game, solid. Artbox is a lot of fun. If you want a party game that involves drawings similar to you Pictionary lovers, this is one I would strongly suggest taking a look at. The link will be down below in the description if you'd like to pick the game up. But overall, I had a ton of fun and everybody else who played the game also really enjoyed it. For those of you who don't like drawing, you probably won't like this game. Thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you like this video, check the like button. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell button. Check out unfilteredgamer.com, blog post giveaways, a Christmas guide, top 10 lists for the year coming out, and more content if you're interested in that. Our live stream every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. PST, where you can watch us play games live just like this one. And in fact, we'll probably play this one at some point. And we have a lot of fun and do some stuff there that involves your, you guys, the audience, like giveaways and games that you guys can play with us. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the game, take a look down below. And as always, I look forward to art boxing with you next time. What's an art box? Fighting with art? <laughs>